I'm Natalie Keyberg, and I'm here with Karen Fox, a longtime volunteer of the Gale Board and Public Library District. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about some of the things you've done here and why you love volunteering at Gale Board? Sure. I'm always eager to talk about Gale Board and Public Library and the resources we have throughout our library district. Uh, as a retired teacher and administrator in U46, I was involved with the library years ago uh, because of the resources. I was a loyal patron. Um, and as I began volunteering on different projects, I started running into a lot of retired educators who I, I encouraged to get involved. There's just a variety of ways to uh, help our library patrons. Uh, I personally have been involved in some of the exhibits uh, years ago, writing the scripts and doing some docent training for uh, dinosaurs and super croc, uh, even Don to Clifford. Uh, the big red dog costume. Um, I've been Mrs. Claus, so I've done in costume, which is uh, helpful if you've been in the classroom, um, but also uh, working with other volunteers. Um, and I've run into retired educators who are stocking shelves, who are eager to uh, make sure all the materials are ready for the readership van. Uh, so there are a variety of ways to get involved with our library. I refer to the library as our general store. The diversity of the people that come use the library, the programs offered uh, in more than English and several languages, um, and all of our branches in the main library, we have the diversity of our communities, and so it's a great resource. That's wonderful. Do you have any favorite things that you've done as, as you, part of your volunteering here? Well, it wasn't being the big red dog, I have to say. <laughs> um, I, I really enjoyed Super Croc. I, we had an amazing amount of uh, docents that many of whom were retired educators and liked leading 45-minute tours and exposing families from all over the country really. People came here to, to uh, see Super Croc and, and the exhibit based on uh, the library's uh, promotion of it. So I enjoyed Great. that. Perfect. So it sounds like there's a little bit of everything for people that want to volunteer here. Yes, yes. Perfect. Well, Thank you so much for telling, telling us about your volunteer experience, and sure. thanks for coming to visit. Sure. Hi, I'm standing here with Nancy Haggard, Manager of Volunteer Services. And Nancy, we just heard from Karen Fox, and she was telling us about some of the amazing things that she's done here as a volunteer. If somebody was interested in volunteering, where would they go to get more information or get in contact with you? There's lots of different ways you can get more information. The easiest way is just to go to our website and from our homepage, there's a little button called Support the Library. You can click on that and it'll take you straight to the volunteer page and you can find out about the different roles that volunteers play here and you can submit an application. But if you don't wanna do it online, that's okay because you can actually come into the library, any one of our three branches and pick up a paper application fill it out and turn it in there and they will make sure that I get it. Once I receive your application, whether it's digital or paper, I will contact you and we will set up a time to meet so that we can talk about what you like to do and what your interests and availability are and I'll match you up with the needs of our staff. That sounds great. Sounds super easy too. It is super easy. <laughs> That's great. And I know that you guys have a variety of positions that are available so you match the person up with a, a job that works for them or how does that work what what types of positions are I you always, guys looking for? I always come into an interview with a list of possibilities of what the staff need is the whole job the whole goal here is to match the need of our staff with the interests and the skills of the volunteer so yes we have lots of different things that volunteers can help us with we're always looking for storytellers whether it's to children or to take stories and programs to our senior care facilities in town we need people that will want to put books back on the shelf that will want to host programs that will want to help with kids programs there if you like kids adults books there's something for everybody here that sounds great and I know that you just, you know, we recapped 2018 and it was an amazing year for volunteers. Uh, do you want to share some of the, some of the interesting information that the, uh, the volunteers did in 2018? Sure, we have a very robust program. And this year we had, this past year we had over 700 volunteers and they served over 15,000 hours. And that does include adults, high school students and middle school students as well. That's amazing. It is. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. Thanks, Natalie. And if you guys are interested in volunteering, go to our website or stop by any branch.